Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to update the height of an element dynamically. Uh, the previous challenge covered how to display data from an array and how to add CSS classes. Uh, you can combine these lessons to create a simple bar chart. There are two steps to this. First, you create a div for each data point in the array. Second, we give each div a dynamic height using a callback function in the style method. This that sets equal height to the data value. So we recall the format to set a style using a callback function. So we've got selection.style, and then we say the property. So this could be like color or font size. And then we pass in a, um, a callback function. So this is a, just naming a function. This is an ES6. So we want to add the style method to the code in the editor to set the height property for each element. Use a callback function to return the value of the data point in the string with a PX added to it. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, here we've got the classes set to bar. Um, in our script, we've got this guy. And so and here we're adding uh, the class of bar to each of the elements. So we're getting, uh, we're selecting them all. And then we're adding each one. For, so for each element of the data point, we're entering them on there. And so we're adding the div, and then we're adding the, attri the attribute of class of bar. And so finally, we want to go dot style, and then we're going to pass in a CSS property. And which one do we want to add? Should have a height. We want to add in height. And it's important to make sure it's in as a string. And we want to say, um, and then here we're going to pass in a, a callback function. I'm going to initially do it in non ES6, but then I'll do it in ES6. I'll refactor later. So we'll go function and um, I pass it in like this. And so with each one, what we're going to call, we can just call this data point. And I'm gonna extend this out so it looks better. And we wanna say for each element, use a callback function to return the value of the data point with the string px added to it. And we can return, so we could do um, return um, data point plus px and you'll see now we've got an actual bar chart um if we run the test we'll see that passes okay so yeah um so yeah let's refactor a little bit like we can make this an es6 um thing just like that which runs exactly the same way and then instead of data point like this we could use a uh, string interpolation by using these high ticks and then using the money uh, I think it, the bang and then plus like this. So this would do the exact same thing. Um, let's see, how else could we do this? Instead of making this a full um, line, we could actually, I'm pretty sure that we can um, just pass it in like this. Yeah. And so this would make it a single line response. If we ran the test, this would pass as well. So all that stuff is exactly the same. And if we wanted to make it short, we could just see we could just call this data point t point because we can define the variable here and then use it in here. And so that makes it even a little bit more succinct, right? And so now we've got a very uh, succinct solution. And um, yeah, there's no need for all these. We put the semicolon here, but these are all dots here because we're calling this all on the same thing. These are all just chained together, so they all work exactly like this. The only reason we put them on a new line is to make them work like that. So um, it's to make it so it, it reads more easily. And so that's why I made sure to have this spacing like this. I, want it, I, I don't want it like this. I want it like this just because it makes it look better. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.